M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's set up OpenTX on the Zygu X6100, it's 2023. So I just wanna go through the Wi-Fi first because it's really important you get that right before you use the program called WinSCP. So just go to, push the general to get you back to this screen. Then system settings, okay? Then turn the MFK knob here until wireless LAN is highlighted, then push the MFK knob. Now it's really important that you get these settings correct, otherwise it won't, you won't see the Wi-Fi turn up. So the first thing you can do is scan and it will find your Wi-Fi. Obviously mine's connected. It's really, really important that you then know to about the configuration of these IP addresses. Now the bottom three, don't worry about them, it's really your password for your router. Turning it on and off, the way you turn the Wi-Fi on and off is just using the edit button. So if I push edit here, you'll see the Wi-Fi go off. Okay, push it again, and it will turn back on with a bit of a delay. There you go, it'll come back on and it will auto connect because that's selected. So then you wanna go down, it's already connected, look, go down, down the list using the next button. Go down, don't worry about DHCP. We're gonna skip past the password. I change that all the time anyway. So, and then see this IP address. Now, if your router at home, you're either gonna have 192.168 with a zero or a one. So go buy your other items in the house. If they all have a one, use that. If they all have a zero, use that. And then the last three digits, you can pretty much decide. Try not to make it clash with any other numbers of items within your house. Then the next one is important. Go down next. I find that the number that works with everyone I've tried to help is this number, 127.0.0.1. So how do you change any of these? Well, you click edit and you get the keyboard. Then you go along with your selections. You can select numbers or letters. Okay, you can delete using the back arrow. You can go backwards using the bottom arrow, so it won't delete, it'll just go backwards and forwards. But well, once you've decided what you want, you do have to go across there, keep going until you highlight enter, and then you push enter, push it. And then to come out, again, this is really important, you press X, okay? Like so. So, and then to connect, just, you don't have to highlight it in green, just click, here it says disconnect, but I want to connect. So you would put, it would say connect, you push it and it connects. And you're definitely not connected until you see the word in green here saying connected. If you're not connected, you won't be able to do the next part of this process. So once you've done that, you don't even have to come out of this window. Let's go over to our computer and we're going to put in the, the in WinSCP program, we're going to put in 192.168.0.155 and you'll see that in a second. The computer we're going to go to this program i'll put a link in the description click download now and you will end up with this program here this is what how, what we're going to use to talk to our x6100 which is on our wi-fi so we're going to type in that ip address 192.168.0.155 that's why it's handy to leave it on that screen the radio because you can remember that the username is root, so R-O-O-T, and that's a, an O, not a zero. Then the password is one, two, three. Once you've got that, just click login. There you are. It's now logging into our thing. It's a bit slow today, but it's getting there. Once you've got there, let's just go back a bit, because remembering what I was doing last time. There you are. You'll get to this window and look for ETC. If you have to click up here a little bit to make it change, but just, just look for ETC. And once you've got ETC, double click ETC and then scroll down and you're looking for XG Radio. See it here? XG Radio. And in here, you've got a file called XG Radio Conf. Double click it and look, I've changed mine, yours, will say disable, okay? It will say it here, disable. Change that to enable, the same as mine. Spell it exactly the same. Once you've done that, then click save. Up here, see this disk? If you make a change, it, it makes you say save. 
makes you save basically. Click save and that's it. Close the window down, close it down, save anything that it says here, look save, click yes. Now back to the radio. So we're back to the radio, we can exit this window now and we're going to do a, just a reboot. So we're going to hold down the on off until it goes off. Wait a few seconds, you know, 10 seconds. So you know it's off. Then hold down the power and turn it on. And when you turn it on, hold it for a good three or four seconds. And it comes on, it's this time it's going to show that little FTX. Now remember, if you load new firmware, if you reset this radio, you're going to lose that. It remembers it now. The good thing about the Zygo, and it's a very good thing, if you put an SD card in and you load new firmware, if you reset it, it will always be, you'll always be able to factory reset it and bring it back to the way it was. And that's part of the many reasons why I just think this is a fantastic little radio. And there's your little TX, and you now can TX. And of course, only transmit on the bands that you're allowed to transmit on. I'll put the links in the description for the WinSCP and some basic instructions. Thanks for watching my channel. This is 2023 Zygu X6100. Bye for now, 7-3.